the past administration had the opportunity to solve this purple bond. And for those 13 years, they didn't. But you know what they did? In 13 years, over $730 million in interest was paid on this super bond. I think Senator said, we did that. Well, you did that. $730 million. I think that's important to have that resonate because we didn't get anything for that 730 million. So we, this past administration did nothing to solve the problem and did everything to cost us $730 million. Whether it's a blue bond, BLU bond, red bond, I agree with Senator Salas. This is a blue bond, a BLUE bond. This is a bond for the people of Belize. This is a bond that gives us a chance to turn this economy around and to make life better. But in setting the record straight, I think it's important to clarify what those processes were that involved the negotiation of this blue bond. All this claim of credit for a red bond, it is true that from 2010, this discussion came about. It's, it was referred to then as the Reefs for Life program. It was brought about by the TNC themselves. They negotiated for four years. And it wasn't the government that pulled out. Out of, I would suppose, frustration, the TNC themselves withdrew from that negotiation. So I'm not sure how a claim can be made that there was this process ongoing. They pulled out. In June 2020, after having gone through the Seychelles deal, they decided to give another crack at it. And so they did approach the government of the day. But I have some personal knowledge of this. And I recall specifically some of the same persons that the Senator re referenced as being involved then informed me that the deal fell through by September. So it was dead again then. It wasn't in a process of negotiation. And when the new administration came in, it was a restart.